Hi everyone, in today's episode we're going to get these back brakes finally rebuilt and get them on the bike. So let's not waste any time, let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm going to disassemble and recondition the rear caliber. The reason why I'm reconditioning these, you will not be able to see it on camera, but the outer dust seal has started to push out, which means there's corrosion in there pushing it out, which will jam the cylinder. Okay, so now we need to remove these two bolts holding the two half together. Okay, so I had a slight bit of trouble. These screws holding the caliber together are completely sea solid. Would not come out, hit them, hammer them, everything. But luckily, I was able to get the cylinder out as it wasn't too badly seized and get everything cleaned up nicely. So I'll put the two rings back in and get it both back together. I give the piston a little rub with some metal polish just to make it as shiny as possible. Just check around where you had the vice grips on, make sure there's no little nicks. There was one or two very small ones in this, they're sanded flat, but just sand as little as possible as you don't want to take off any more of this protective plating than you have to. Apply a liberal amount of grease to these. As I said, it'll push out any excess anyway. That's that. Right, now to get it painted and get the pads in, get it on the bike and get it bled. Okay, so that's the rear caliber all nicely painted. New zinc plated on the brand new nipples and a new zinc plated banjo bolt. So we just need to get the pads back in now and again we're going with the EBC double hitch centered brake pads. This is the part number in case anyone needs to know.
Okay, so I've attached the line to the master cylinder, fed it through all the various brackets, and it's down as far as the brake caliper now. It's just going to fit that, tighten both ends, and we'll start the bleeding process. Right. An old container for a catch cap. Just want to take some of the fluid and do the reverse bleeding process just to speed things up a little. Okay, so that's the brakes bled, just a little bit of reverse bleeding, a little bit of standard bleeding, but eventually got there. Just wanted to really take my time, make sure no fluid dripped onto the wheel, obviously. So that is another job ticked off the list. Yeah, so I've topped up the fluid as well. That's nicely topped up, the lid's back on. Pedals reasonably firm too, not, not too much travel on it. The pads are all moving okay, it's all checked. So guys, yeah, that's another little job done. And hopefully it was some help to you. In the next video, I'm going to get the carbs, definitely going to get the carbs redone this time. They are sitting here ready to go. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get them vapor blasted, just not in the budget, but I get them cleaned as best I can. Okay, so just remember guys, if this is your first time watching, please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.